Hello, good day viewers. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about the lowest common multiple or the least common multiple known as the LCM. This is just the combination of three statements. You can see we have multiples. We're going to talk about multiples. We have common multiples and we have the lowest common multiple. This is to say the LCM of two or more numbers is that smaller number or the smallest number which those numbers can go into simultaneously without remainder. So it is very important to know our multiples that are from the multiplication table. Take the common multiples between two or more numbers, then choose the least among them. Why do we need to know LCM? LCM is very important while simplifying fractions or trying to eliminate fraction in a given equation. So first we want to find the LCM of four and six. Now we want to find the LCM of four and six. Therefore, we are going to list out the multiples of four and six, then take the common ones, then choose the least one. Multiple of four from multiplication table, four times one is four. Four times two is eight. 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 6 is 24, let us stop here, then 4, 4, 6, 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 4 is 20, 4, 6 times 5 is 30, 6 times 6 is 36. We can stop here. So these are some of the multiples of 4 and 6. Now we want to choose the common ones that appear here and here. From here you can see 12 here, we have 12 here. We have 24 here and we equally have 24 here. Therefore the common multiples between 4 and 6 are 12 and 24, but we are interested in knowing the least or the lowest, and the lowest here is 12. Therefore, we say the LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. But the simplest way to do that is to perform a successive division of these numbers using prime numbers. We have six, we have four. You can start with either one. We are going to divide them through by some of the prime numbers. The least prime number is two. You have to check whether two can go into these numbers. If it can't, you take the next prime number, which is three. Two can go into six three times. Two can go into four two times. Two cannot go into three, but it can go into two. Therefore, we have to try two again. You skip this, it can go into two one time. Once you reach one, you stop. The only prime number that can go into three is three. So we use three, one, and this one is already one. Therefore, the LCM of four and six equals to you multiply them all through. Two multiply by two multiply by three. Two times two is four. Then four times three is equal to twelve as required. Therefore, twelve is the LCM of four and six. Why is this method very important? Is in case of larger numbers. Now let us try some numbers. Now we want to find the LCM of six, eight, and thirty-six. We are going to perform a successive division of these numbers, 6, 8, and 36, using prime numbers. All these numbers are even numbers, so we can try the least prime number, which is 2, because 2 can go into any even number. 2 into 6 is 3, 2 into 8 is 4, 2 into 36 is 18 times. We still have some even numbers. We have two, it cannot go here, you drop this down. Two can go into four two times, two can go into 89 times. 
we still have another even number two. You drop this down, it can go into two one time, you drop this down. Two can no longer go into any of this, you try the next prime number, which is three. Three can go here one time, this one is already one, it can go here three times. Still we have three, this is already one, we have one, it can go here one time. Therefore the LCM of six, eight and 36 will be equal to, you multiply all these numbers, two multiply by two, multiply by two, multiply by three, multiply by three. This is equal to two times two, four, four times two, eight, eight times three, 24, then 24 times three is 72, 72. Therefore, the LCM of six, eight, and 36 is 72. It is the only smallest number which these three numbers can simultaneously go into without remainder. So this is very important while simplifying fractions or while trying to eliminate fractions in a given equation. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.